Hello, dear empath, highly sensitive person. Um, I want to give you this <laughs> daily angel message video reading with your love life. Let's see, twin flame or soulmate messages. Um, what is coming up today for you? So let's just dive in here. As you can see, I have pulled out the cards again intuitively. Um, romantic feelings, family issues, let go of control. Okay, so d the <laughs> definitely there's a strong connection, you know, like, as always, a very strong bond connection, spiritual connection with your person. They are either hero twin flame or a soulmate partner. And your real <laughs> your feelings are real and their feelings are real. They might not be showing you their feelings. They might not be communicating with you right now, but I feel that you must not worry about things. And um, just try to open up and, you know, open up to trust, open up to faith, surrender and align with the energy of this connection. And they have to do the same, of course. If you really want to be building a healthy relationship that is long term with real authentic love, you know, so you need to be building it together as always, so... Um, there is some healing going through. They are going through healing. You are going through healing. Usually it's the po both parties who need to do some healing work on their on themselves. Inner healing work. You know, remember that once you can really heal your inner world, your outer world will follow. The 3D world will follow along all of that process all of that energy so what you want to do is just you know focus on loving yourself valuing yourself especially if you have been hurt in the past by your exes or you have had childhood trauma experiences you know you've had narcissistic abuse experiences and that is why you're here watching this video <laughs> so yeah the healing process is always important and there, there comes up this card, you know, as a reminder that we need to acknowledge that this is the fact that there has to happen healing because we cannot be bringing those past baggage energies and problems to the new relationship. So they need to be healed and released first. And at the same time, as you do that healing work, you will be also aligning more with your own true energy, with your own true self, and with this, this relationship with this person as well. So it's really all connected. But you both have to do whatever it takes to be really healing within. It always starts within. You have to love yourself first within. They have to love themselves first within, you know. So <clears throat> that is important. And then we have that go of control issues. So really <laughs> the angels are telling you that you should really safely just stop worrying. Just let go, detach. Don't try to control the situation. Just focus on better things, focus on yourself and, you know, fixing whatever needs to be, needs to be fixed in your own life first before you can move forward with this connection. But don't worry, just let go. Release it all to the universe. Allow yourself to be supported. And you know, get to, get, get to know this person with time and effort and, you know, then you will be building that lasting relationship. Let's see the action cards from the angel answers. Look for a sign. There are signs and synchronicities everywhere. There's something better. Success. So, if you have been going through some difficult 
times with this person, you know, whether this is a new person or you have known this person for some time now, it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, I sense some kind of some kinds of some kinds of issues between you, and that is why we have the healing message here. And I feel like you are losing hope, and they can be losing hope as well. Uh, <clears throat> but the signs are everywhere if you pay attention. The signs that your your connection will continue, that there is a lot of potential here, that it is a true love connection. Uh, this means that you know there's something better. There's something better for you both in this connection. And really, you should not give up on this this person but maybe some time is needed some separation is needed so that you can just both be reflecting and and healing from whatever you need to be healing and we have the success here so i think that this is a validation that definitely there is a future for you two together marriage, children, you know, happiness, a happy ever after is definitely in the cards for you with this person. But give it time. Don't rush things. Don't try to control things. And especially if you're a woman watching this, you have to let your man come to you. Let your man lead the relationship and get in touch with you and trust them you want to trust this this person and um of, of course you need to also have your own boundaries and communicate honestly and, and as straightforwardly as possible you need to be able to talk about your feelings if they don't listen to you if they don't respect you then that is not true love that is a toxic person and that is not who you want to spend your life with. But this person is real. As I do these true love readings. So this person is real. With authentic feelings for you. Authentic love for you. And they will be showing it with time. So try not to worry. Okay. Just focus on your own life for now. If you're separated. And enjoy life. Life is short anyway, so you want to be <clears throat> as happy as possible, of course, you know, the way you're supposed to be every day in your life. Thank you for watching. I hope this resonates. Feel free to comment below. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, share this video if a friend needs, needs this message. And... Um, as always, wishing you so much love and light. Don't hesitate to book your own private reading with me. It's always possible. You can approach me on Instagram or send me an email or um, check out my booking link or my service link. All the information is always below each video. So check that out if you want to get in touch. And much love. Namaste.